everyone, uh, welcome back to another episode. Uh, today, we're gonna be turning one of these. Yes, into fish cakes. So, thing is, a lot of us go rock fishing or beach fishing and we catch Australian salmon. They're a fantastic fish to catch. Uh, they've got a shocking reputation as a uh, table fish. Generally agree with that. Two exceptions. Fish cakes, they make great fish cakes. And uh, if you've seen any of my other videos, I love turning them into a fish curry. So if you're interested in fish curry, check out our other videos. I think I've got two up so far of the fish curry. Um, but today we're doing fish cakes. So this is how we do it. So we've filleted our salmon and removed as much of the blood that we could out of that. Um, we've got some chopped dill, half a chopped onion, some spring onion, garlic ready to chuck in. I've got around five or six potatoes that I've put in the quarters. That's what you're gonna need. You're also gonna need some breadcrumbs, flour, and some egg. Let's do it. Okay, so step one, get a pot of water boiling. We're gonna put the potatoes in there. Uh, obviously, we're gonna be turning it in the mash to make these cakes. So drop your potatoes in there. I guess around 10 minutes would take. Just careful when you're dropping it in, not to burn your fingers the lid on and let it do its thing. Okay, next thing we're gonna do in a pan, a little bit of olive oil. Just gonna brown off a little bit of our onion and our spring onion. You can put these in uh, raw, but I like to just cook mine a little bit. So while this is uh, browning off in our potatoes are boiling, just take you over here. I've filleted the, um, the salmon. It's very important that we get rid of as much of this blood that we can. So I'm just about to trim this up to get rid of it. Uh, generally, when people say Australian salmon tastes so bad, it's because of this. This tastes shocking. This, not so bad. This, absolutely shocking. So I'll now just trim this up and get rid of as much of that as I can. Okay, so my onion and and uh, spring onion is done. I've taken that off. As you can see over here, I've got rid of most of that red flesh. So we're just left with predominantly the, um, the white flesh here. Um, you can see there, very good. So now we're just gonna put that in the pan, gonna season it a bit, put it in the pan and brown it up. Just uh, get that going. There you go, we're seasoned. We've now got the salmon in the pan. I'm just gonna cook it on each side. It really doesn't take that long to cook, but we will make sure that it's cooked all the way through. Okay, now the fish is done, we're just gonna put it to the side in the bowl. And then we're gonna shred it up so we can mix it in with our mashed potato. Okay, now that our potatoes are boiled, we'll just add some salt and pepper. Um, actually, just when I strained them and had the empty pot that was still hot, I did chuck in a little bit of butter just at the bottom to let that melt through. So salt and pepper, and now we'll just um, start mashing up our potatoes. I like to add a little bit of milk as well, just a touch, just a touch. Just kind of help you um, mash it in, and get a silky texture, which is what we're after. Stage, I'd like to add just a couple of teaspoons of my uh, minced garlic. Bit of a cheat. Get it in the, um, in the jar already done. Obviously, 
You can do fresh garlic, probably better, but I'm feeling a bit lazy. And then with our fish that we put in the bowl to set aside, we just grab a fork and just start mixing it up like this. It kind of just falls apart. Uh, we do, yeah, you kind of squash it with the fork. You kind of want it to be all torn apart so it will all mix through with the potato. So just see what we're doing there. Just mixing it all in. Once we're happy with that, we're going to add it to our potato. And at this stage, we're also going to put in the onion and spring onion that we Fry it up a little bit earlier. A bit of pepper, salt. Also, like to put in some dill. But I might just mix this through first. Get rid of that. Now you just want to mix everything through. It's all mixed through. I also like to add a couple of um, spoons of mayonnaise. Oh, don't have much left. So I'm just using what I've got left. I like to eat it with mayonnaise, but she likes to put some in there. I don't know about you guys, but for me, whole egg mayonnaise beats any of the other sweet stuff crap that you get. This is the bee's knees. Almost forgot the dill. Put the dill in, mix your dill through. Obviously, I chopped it up as fine as, well, probably not as fine as I could, but chopped it up finely. Mix that dill all the way through. Okay, my hands were just way too busy to be able to um, video that last part, but essentially what I've done, just with that mixture with your hands, just roll them into balls, as you see. And now the next part is we're gonna dunk it into the flour, give it a coating into the egg, into the bread comes, put them to the side, get them all done, and then we'll be back on the hot plate. This is what they'll look like once you're done. So I've got them there, all ready to go. I'm gonna put some oil in the pan now, heat that up. I've got three here that I haven't crumbed yet. Uh, my wife is gluten free, so pretty sure bread crumbs would have gluten in it. So she might just have them like that. I ate one just like that before and it's actually really good. So you don't actually need to do it with the next step, but we're making a fish cake, this is how you do it. So now we've uh, got our olive oil in the plan. Just heat that up a little bit. Now we're just simply gonna add our fish cakes and fry them off. Cooking them essentially the same as you would a, a patty. My son's saying they look like patties. You excited for fish cakes, Luca? Yeah. yeah. After approximately around three minutes, we, we turn them, and that's what they look like. Another three minutes on that side, and um, they'll be ready.
and they're done. And that's it. There they are. So next time you uh, catch an Australian salmon, keep this in mind because they, they come up a tree. That's the end of the video. Uh, if you liked it, I'd appreciate a thumbs up if you can. And um, if you want to see more, then subscribe. And if you want to find us on Facebook, you can find us there under Fishing Control. See you on the next one.